Welcome to two examples on how to graph the region indicated by a DEF integral and evaluate the DEF integral on the T84 graphing calculator. In this video, we'll look at two examples. So looking at the first DEF integral, we first need to enter the integrand function, which is f of x equals x cubed minus 4x plus 5. So we'll press y equals and enter x raised to the power of 3, right arrow, minus 4x plus 5. We'll also want to adjust the window to get a nice view of this function over the interval from negative 2 to 2, indicated by the limits of integration. But let's start with the standard window by pressing zoom 6. Notice that the function is non-negative over the interval from negative 2 to 2, which means the value of the def integral is going to be equal to the area bounded by the function and the x-axis. Let's change the horizontal axis so it goes from negative 3 to 3 by 1s, and let's change the vertical axis to go from negative 2 to 10 by 1s. So we'll press the window key. x min will be negative 3, enter. x max, positive 3, enter. We'll leave the x scale at 1, press enter. Y minimum, let's say negative 2, enter. Y max positive 10, and we'll leave the Y scale at 1. Let's go ahead and press graph again. Notice now we have a much better view of the function over the closed interval from negative 2 to 2. And now we can use the graphing calculator to graph the area bounded by the function and the x-axis over this interval, as well as evaluate the definite integral. So to do this, we press second trace for the calculation menu option seven for integration, and now ask for the lower limit of integration, which is negative two. So negative two, enter. Be careful not to enter minus two, or you'll receive an error. The upper limit is next, which is positive two, enter. And now it graphs the region bounded by the function on the x-axis over the closed interval from negative two to two. And notice here below, it's a little small, but it's telling us the value of the def integral is positive 20, which means this area is exactly 20 square units. Let's look at a second example. This is almost the same problem, but the integrand function has changed slightly. The constant plus five is no longer a part of the function. So we'll go back to the calculator, press y equals, and we'll delete the plus five on the end here for the new integrand function. So we'll delete the plus and delete the five. And now we have the new integrand function. We'll also need to adjust the window because remember, the plus five that we had shifts the function up five units. So we'll need to adjust the vertical axis. Let's go ahead and press the graph key to see why. Notice now there is part of the function that is below the x-axis over the closed interval from negative two to two, which means we need to adjust the window. And it also tells us the value of the def integral is not going to give us the area bounded by the function on the x-axis, but we can still evaluate the def integral. So let's press the window key and let's go down to the y minimum and change that to let's say negative six, enter and the y max the positive six. Let's press graph. We now have a nice view of the function over the closed interval from negative two to two. Also notice how if we integrated from negative two to zero, the def integral would be positive, but when we integrate from zero to positive two, because the function is below the x-axis, the value of the def integral would be negative. Let's press second, trace for the calculation menu, option seven, lower limit of integration is negative two, enter. Upper limit of integration is positive two, enter. So we can still shade the region bounded by the function on the x-axis, but if we think of this as signed area, this would be positive area, and this would be negative area. Notice the value of the def integral is actually zero. So again, thinking of these two regions as signed area, they're opposites of one another. This would be a positive area. 
this would be a negative area and they'd be opposites. And therefore, when we add these two areas together, we get a value of zero. So using the graphing tool to graph the region indicated by a def integral and then evaluating the def integral is a nice way to better understand what's happening when we evaluate def integrals. I hope you found this helpful.